sorry, baby, I love you. But now it's showtime. Ouch. <laughs> oh, this is harder than I thought. That was hard. We are here with the beautiful Suzanne Barch. You are in Toronto to promote your recent, oh, you want to pop the champagne? Okay, maybe no, before. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> we bought it to I'm pop. I'm to promote so. whatever it is. <laughs> Alcohol, I love it. I love that you have a bottle of champagne here waiting for me. It's we are, we're gonna have a little party scene going on okay. here. First of all, welcome to Toronto. Thank we're so you. happy to have you here at Flair. It's great, I'm happy to be here. You're very beautiful. Oh, you're very beautiful. Make me want to wear glasses. Sexy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're here for the Hot Docs premiere of your documentary, which is Suzanne Barch on Top. One of the things that I felt really was really interesting in the documentary was that people that they interviewed about you and going to the parties that you threw, there was sort of this underlying theme that everyone said that you made them feel so accepted and that you made them feel like themselves and you created environments where they could, you know, really come together and not feel judged. What is that like to create those types of environments for you? I'm about accepting, accepting yourself and accepting others. It's not about judgmental stuff. It's not about you should be doing that, how are you doing this? It's about you're creative, we're all creative, express yourself, use your body as a canvas. My events, my parties, my clubs really are kind of like an art gallery, so you can come and express your art, show your art, and be whoever the fuck you F you see care you wanna be for that moment, you know? Right. So it's all about freedom, embracing yourself and embracing others to be honest. In the 80s, when you had all these infamous club kids like Amanda Lepore and RuPaul, they're still coming to your parties how yes. many years later, so... <laughs> Don't talk about years. I'm okay. not... <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm very proud. I'm still going. I'm, you know what the best thing about it all is? Fuck the years. It's really... I love what I do. I love what I do. And that's a gift. This is a gift to yeah. love what you do. Mm -hmm. And I can love what I do. They love it too. Mm -hmm. And that's like better than getting blown. I don't have a penis, but <laughs> <laughs> sorry, caught. <laughs> so what you're saying is you have no plans of retiring anytime soon. No plans. No, plans. no. I will. I love. To me, creativity is is God. Right. Love, giving, helping, and be creative. Those are the recipes in my life. And Nivea, Nivea cream. I don't get paid for that. But. <laughs> So we want to learn how to plan a party Suzanne style. Ah. So for our viewers, if they want to throw a super chic, out of this world crazy party, where where should they start? Can you Everybody better get a wig and high heels, baby. <laughs> Tip one, great parties really starts with you feeling good about it. So if I do an event, I don't do it because there's a big budget. I do it because it feels right. Okay. Tip two, it's a space. Yeah, <clears throat> okay, we need a good space. Tip three is the music. Okay. Tip four, the mix of people. We do not want to have just gays or straights or uptown or downtown. That's the recipe to mix the people. Tip five, the most important. I love seeing people who never met each other, like saying hello and being kind to it, like kiss, blowing kisses yeah. and just interact. Especially with the age of that square that you're working <laughs> on right now. It's even more important to have people feel their energy, like feel you. Right. So here we go. The one thing I'm very inexperienced is opening bottles. I usually have a boy doing it for me. Oh, oh my shit. God. Help. <laughs> Where are my boyfriend? This is the first time I ever opened a book in my life. Hello, it took how many years? Don't ask. Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. Is it gonna pop, right? Yeah, Wait. it'll pop oh. if you get. Never mind the, the champagne, the wig. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> this feels good. This is an afternoon tittle. I know how to pour, that, that I know. Sorry, guys. I know how to walk in high heels, but not opening bottles. All right, well, well here's cheers. to Flair Magazine. Cheers. cheers. Happy Thank to have you. you. Cheers, everybody. Mm. It's good. <laughs> I'm glad I had pizza to line my stomach. <laughs> I'm such a lousy drinker. So I'm going to hold up a mm. mask of one of your friends or someone you know. 
and you're gonna describe them in one word. Okay, so first we have Amanda Lepore. Most expensive body in the world. <laughs> RuPaul. Superstar. Superstar, all right. Miss Betsy Johnson. Wore her drag many times. <laughs> Patricia Field. Love her. Love her? She bought from my first store. She was one of the first people bought for me. Oh, I love him. Steven Klein, the very talented. Genius, love him. Our favorite Ooh. late, Bill Cunning. Oh, that man called me Swiss Miss. And one day he said, you're a giver. And I said, it takes one to know one. Mr. Calvin Klein. Calvin is so cool. I remember Calvin <laughs> from many years ago. We are, we'll go back a long way. A long way. I won't <laughs> skeletons in the closet. I have them more than him. So we're going to play a fun little quick game of Never Have I Ever. <laughs> so when you have done it, ha have a little sip of champagne. Oh my God. And I'll play too. So if I've done it, I'll, I'll also drink. It sounds like a college game. My son's playing that. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever snooped through a friend's bathroom without them knowing. I, think I I've never done that have. Too. You never have? No, oh, then I you don't, don't drink. Oh, if you've oh, I done don't. it, you have to no, drink. That, so don't I've have time that for that. Never have I ever stayed up all night dancing. I have. You have. I love, I love it. I love going home in the morning. Yeah. Then I had a son. I used to go home and then make breakfast for him, send him off to kindergarten and then go to bed. Cheers. <laughs> Never have I ever left a party without saying goodbye to anyone. Just I have done a few French exits. Yeah, you have? I've done it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be drunk after this. How many questions do I have? <laughs> Don't worry, we'll, we'll make it through without, you know, rolling home. Never have I ever hitchhiked. I have, when I was like, 10 years, uh, years ago. <laughs> years. I have. Okay, then you have to have a little drink. I, I haven't, have. so it's on you. Never have I ever been kicked out of a bar. Never. Never? Okay. No. Never have I ever had someone slap me across the face. I haven't had one. No, okay. okay. Um, never. Oh my God, I just remember one. Oh shit. <laughs> I think I like the champagne. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember something, hold on. Mm. <laughs> I had a boyfriend that was unfaithful and he slapped me because I was unfaithful with a friend. His but, friend? Uh, our friend. Oh, okay. And I was shitty and I lied about it. So then I won't ask you never have I ever got caught lying. I have. <laughs> oh my God. Why aren't I you think I, I have to. Have I haven't been lied? slapped, but I have lied. I've lied. A little white lie. And the last question I'll ask you, never, Thank God. <laughs> never have I ever thrown some of the best parties New York City has ever seen. I have. You have. You have to drink. Party. I'm sorry to say. It's not being a big head. No, it's you the have. Truth. It's the truth. Cheers to that. And I'm going to come do one here. Do one in Toronto. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us here at Flair, Suzanne. We had a blast.